out. About two seconds, the flame come out, and then it stops. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? What's the old get going on about today guys? Well, a lot of these plasma cutters now are actually, well I wouldn't say a lot, I've come across a couple, they're actually coming out with a PA function, and the PA function is Pilot Arc, and you're saying, well what's so new about that Pete? We've always had Pilot Arc. Yeah, we've always had Pilot Arc on the cheaper machines, but you've never been able to adjust how long you can have the Pilot Arc running for. So this is just some new thing that's come out. So today, guys, I want to show you how the PA function works if you've got a plasma cutter with the Pilot Arc function knob on it. Same as usual, guys. Like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? Right now, guys, I'm using the Best Arc 7th generation machine, and this is the only machine so far from Best Arc that comes with the uh, PA adjustment on it. But I have noticed there's another couple of brands that are starting to come out with an adjustable PA as well. So let's kick it in the guts, guys. Here we go. As you can see, this is all digital readout. All the thing tells you what PSI, what amps we're running at. But what we're interested in today, guys, is this function here. So when I push that, we go to the PT, which is the post time, which we can adjust here. See that? Five, six, seven, eight, right up to 15 seconds. Now, you probably already know what post time is, guys. Post time is how much air comes out of your torch after you stop cutting. It just cools the consumables off and it helps you to extend the life of your consumables. But what we are looking at, guys, is this function here, PA. See that down the bottom there, guys? PA function. So if we go PA and then you watch the LED readout here, we can go from one second right up to 15 seconds. And what that does is it controls how long the pilot arc stays ignited for in your torch before it goes out. Here, I'll show you. Now, if we set the PA to, let's have a look. We've got it at one second at the moment. So if we turn it up to two seconds there, guys, look what happens when I pull the trigger. Out, about two seconds, the flame come out and then it stops. Well now if we go back to PA, if we turn it up to 10 seconds, like that, let's pull the trigger and see what happens. About 10 seconds guys, I've still got the trigger pulled here, see that? But it stops. So it went from one second to 10 seconds. And it gives us a variation from one second right up to 15 seconds. Now you might be saying to yourself, what the hell's the use of that, Pete? It doesn't matter, really, when you're cutting flat steel. It doesn't really have any issue with that at all. You can do it with a one second pilot arc time or you can have it at a 15 second pilot arc time. It doesn't really make any difference. The difference is when you're cutting corrugated steel or expandable steel or something like that, if you're cutting a piece of steel and then you can go from contact to non-contact to contact to non-contact, what it'll do if you have it, like the standard PA setting is about three seconds in the factory. So what it'll do is when you're coming along, it'll cut, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop. And you have to keep pulling the trigger all the time to get the torch to restart. Here, I'll show you what I mean, guys, on a piece of expandable steel. So I don't know if you guys have tried to cut this stuff. It's really, really horrible because what you do is you get a contact, a non-contact, a contact, a non-contact. And as you go along, it just stops the gun all the time, all the time, all the time. You have to keep pulling the trigger. So let's have a go. So first of all, guys, what we'll do is we'll put the pilot arc at one second and then we'll cut it and I'll show you what happens. See how the torch, I've still got my finger pulled on the trigger there guys, but see how the torch has stopped? Now for me to get this going again, I have to restart the torch. See it stopped again. If I try and keep cutting, I have to restart the torch. Because what it's doing is it's got gaps in the steel and that's a real problem when you're cutting corrugated steel, expandable steel, something like that. Something that doesn't have a contact all the way through, you're gonna have that problem and it drives you crazy if you've got a lot of this to cut up. So let's try it again, guys. If I turn the PA up to say 10 seconds, see what happens. Here we go, go to PA, we're on one. Let's go up to 10 seconds. And bearing in mind, we can get all the way up to 15 seconds. So 10 seconds, now let's see what happens, guys. Pull the trigger in.
go. What it does is it keeps on igniting the torch all the time. I didn't have to keep pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger and pulling the trigger to keep it going. So now let's try it on a flat piece of steel, see if it makes any difference. So guys, we've just got a hunk of two or three mil steel here. So we'll stick it on there. Let's do some cutting. Once again, we'll turn the PA down to one second and then we'll cut a lump off it. See that guys? We only had the pilot arc starting at one second, but because we can keep the electrical flow going, because we're not going on off the steel all the time, it just doesn't cut out, it just keeps cutting. But what will happen if I turn it up to 10 seconds? Here we go, let's go up to 10 seconds. Now will this really make any difference guys? I don't think it'll make any difference on flat steel whatsoever. Let's have a go. There yeah, guys, basically no difference whatsoever when you're cutting flat steel. Where it comes into its own is like I said before, when you're cutting something that's corrugated or something that hasn't got a connection all the way through it. Because it's going to make your machine stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. And I tell you what guys, it's a pain in the bum. I'll tell you another secret I use it for guys. And I know before I start getting all sorts of comments in the comments, Pete, you're not supposed to cut that with it. I use my plasma cutter for basically everything. Especially if I'm doing scrap metal or something and I'm cutting out a washing machine or something like that. And you've got to cut through hoses and plastic wire and all sorts of other stuff. Well, I can't be bothered getting the snippers out and going through all that drama, especially if I've got a plasma cutter torch in my hand. So what I do is just use the plasma cutter to cut through the wiring and the hoses and all sorts of other stuff. And you can't do it if you've got a short pilot art time. Here, I'll show you. Okay, pilot arc will go to one second. One second pilot arc, guys. See that? It just doesn't work. Watch what happens now. So if I change that from one second up to 15 seconds. Now let's try and cut the same wire off again. Now you're not supposed to do that, guys, but... <laughs> you know how it is, eh? <laughs> I use it to cut all sorts of things. So my friends, I hope that helped you out a bit. Just a little explanation on how that pilot arc timer function works. Anyway guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Pete's Tools.com.